Hello everyone, Mr. Kenor here. So this is part two. We're gonna finish building our alarm. So this is from part one. This is the rotation idea in the WeDo app. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add on some colored uh, lights and we're gonna add on our gyro sensor to detect when that motor rotates. So first thing we're gonna do, let's go ahead and build where our lights are. So yellow is going to be in the middle so we're actually going to take this and we put it between these four studs so see how we put that light in between the studs not on top of the studs but in between the four studs here in the middle uh, we take our red one and we can put it over here and our green one over here and again we're going between the studs if that's too hard just go ahead and put it on it doesn't have to be perfectly accurate okay now we're going to um, build up our little tower so we're going to go blue block red block and then blue one by two block here then i have these white uh, one by ones with the stud facing out we're going to have both of those facing out like this and then we're simply going to attach the back of it like this and then add in these two slope pieces at the end so it kind of looks like this those slope pieces are really just for decoration and you can go ahead and stick it on so it looks like this we've got green on the left red on the right um, and it doesn't have to be this way but if you're going to follow my program then green on the left red on the light on the right okay and then we're going to take our gyro sensor this is the one that has the arrow moving back and forth we're gonna put that in the middle of the blue circle here. Um, go ahead and plug this into your hub like that. And then we're gonna take our two uh, slope gray pieces on either side so they're sloping up. And then this is just kind of our little indicator right here. So the way that this works, and you can use your hand to, to turn the rubber band, is it comes over here to green, as the alarm moves over here to red, and then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna program it so that it's sensing our gyro sensors tilt, and it's actually gonna change the color on the hub as well. So let's go ahead and look at our program here, just so you can anticipate what's gonna happen. We actually have two separate programs going on here. Um, this first one is controlling, here, let me, move over here so you got a little bit more room there we go so this first program just controls the rotation and then it waits until the sensor is pointing down so as soon as the sensor rotates and you can actually watch on your screen and it will show you down here in the corner um, where your gyro sensor is and it gives you some numbers indicating like nine is tilted, zero is flat, and as I come this way, it's gonna tell me that, oh, three is in this position right here. So those numbers correspond to different positions that the gyro sensor can sense. So it's important that we start our program here on three, and then what it's gonna do is at a very slow motor speed, it's gonna rotate until it senses that it's rotated all the way over so it can sense when there's when it's tipping down it's going to stop and it's going to play a siren saying whoops we're you know we're out of air in this case this model represents mission moon so we have air supply when we're running low on air it's going to do a siren now this letter right here is basically just a broadcast so what happens is when i start my program it sends out a message to the rest of the program saying ABC right here with the letter coming in it matches see how ABC and ABC if we were to change this as long as these match identically um, then when this program runs when it gets to this part of the program it's gonna message ABC and this one's gonna start this program the reason for this is I want it to do two different things at the same time I want it to rotate and I want the lights on the hub to light up, indicating which position our gyro sensor's in. So when it's in the first position, it's gonna be showing us green. 
when it reaches the, the middle position and the gyro sensor flattens out, um, and it's gonna be hovering around the yellow up here, I also want the hub to turn yellow. And then, let's actually make it, I know it's, uh, yellow's here, but this one actually looks a little more yellowy. And then when it gets all the way to red, I want the hub to change to red. So really what we're doing is, we have two play buttons at the same time is really what it is. And it's easier to use this broadcast message, whoops, broadcast message um, to get both of them running at the same time. Okay, so let's see this in action. Again, you wanna make sure you can twist your hand on this side. This one doesn't move because it's attached to the motor, but this one here, you can keep twisting it and twist it just to make sure in your program down here in the corner this says three. All right, so I'm gonna twist it and as it's going, I want you to notice how this is moving and our hub is changing colors. So I hit play. All right, did you notice how the hub was changing colors too? So here, I'm gonna reset it back to green. And you notice this is still running in the background because I never hit stop. So guess what happened to the hub when it got back over here? It went back to green. So really, this is still running in the background. And if I were to move the sensor, even pick up the whole thing, watch, and move it, I can even change it back to red and orange and change the color by rotating because this sensor is still sensing. But if we hit play again, it will reset, it will move, it goes from green, indicator now changes to yellow, and then all the way this indicator now changes to red. And our alarm goes off saying we're out of oxygen. So hopefully you were able to finish this build, follow along and understand this program a little bit and maybe this will teach you a little bit more about sending broadcasts in your code. All right, I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I hope you had fun.